Hello, today we're going to be trying to figure out how many zeros are at the end of this number. Well, let's start off by trying to think of how we can get a zero. We need to have a 2 times a 5 in order to get a 10. Now, this 2 is really just extra, because if we look at a factorial, for every 5 that we come across, we will already have come across a 2 before it. So we don't really need to worry about finding how many 2s there are, as long as we find how many 5s there are. Now, starting with this 5, in 5 factorial, there's going to be 1 factor of 5. 6 factorial will also have 1 factor of 5, and then 7 factorial will, and 8 factorial will, up until you get to 10, where 10, 9 will have 1, and 10 will have 2 factor of 5 for the 10 and 5. Now this will go up to 15, and then so on. So, we end up having 1 times 5, plus 2 times 5, plus so on, plus, and 100 will have 20 factor of 5, but there's only going to be one of those. So, let's get rid of that 20. Let's go plus 99 times 5. No, sorry, my bad. 19 times 5, because 99 is 19 factors of 5. So that, that is accounting for 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. And then we have plus 20. Now we can simplify this as 5 times 1, 19 times 20 over 2 plus 20, which equals 10 times 19, 190 times 5. So... 950, so 970. Okay? So, there are 970 factors of 5. However, we miss something. And that happens every time we reach something with a factor of 25, because 25 has two 5s. But we already counted one of those 5s just doing the normal 5s. So we only need to go back and just add one more for every 5. So I'm going to move this one to 970 up here. And now let's count for 25s. So starting at 25 factorial in the sequence, we will have one extra. Okay, and then 26 also has a factor of 25, and so does 27. All the way until we get to, sorry, <laughs> 27. All the way up until we get to 50 in here. Now there's going to be 25 of these. And now for 50, there's two factors of 25 and 50 factorial. For the first 25 and for 50. So we're going to have plus 2 for another 50 up until we get to 75. So, uh, it's a terrible bracket, but another 25. Okay, and now when we go from 50 to, sorry, from 75 to 99, there are going to be um, another three factors for each one. Uh, and there's going to be 25 of those. But, and for 100, there's going to be four. So, plus four. Okay, now, <coughs> let's just add this up. So we have 25 here, 50 here, 75 here. Now this is plus four, so this is equal to 154. Okay, so 970, we need 154 plus 970. It's going to give us four. 1124. And this is our answer for how many fives we have in how many zeros we have at the end of the number. Now, if we had to keep going past 100, there will be more for if we had to reach 125, because then we would have missed another factor of five. But in this case, this is all we need to do, and that is our answer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe for more.